Hey guys, how are you? It's Arthi and I'm back and this is my follow-up video from last week and I'm going to talk about the concealer and foundation that I've been testing out for the last week and I'm going to give you my results and tell you what I think and if it's going to get a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Well, it's two products so I will just go over both and I guess I'll just talk about some of the highlights and what I liked about them and what I didn't. Now the first one I'm going to start out with is the concealer and it is from CoverGirl and let me show you what it looks like. It's called, no, oh yeah, okay, no, I'm sorry, I just got lost for a second with my words. Okay, so it's CoverGirl Outlast Concealer and it's supposed to last all day, I guess, because of the wording on the tube. Now this concealer I picked up with this L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I was in the drugstore and I didn't choose these two products myself. There is a beauty advisor that works at the drugstore that I shop in and she recommended these two for me just based on my specific skin needs. And she promised that they will work very well together or she said, well, at least go home and try it and let me know what you, <laughs> you think next time when you come back. And I said, okay. And uh, so the CoverGirl is the, I guess the kind of like one of the latest concealers that they've come out with. And before I was using NYX concealer and I don't have any experience with CoverGirl and this is the first run with it. Now I will tell you just I guess a few things about this product to get started. Now they have a pretty decent color range for this concealer and it's you know sometimes hard when you are a woman with darker skin because you can't always find something that will give you a true match or 100% match and this one was pretty good. I would say it doesn't match my skin tone a hundred percent but it comes pretty close and I you know I guess that's all you can really ask for. Sometimes it's you know it's hard to get something that really just looks like there's nothing there right. So um, so that's not too bad. The color matching is pretty good and then you know as far as the concealer itself it is not so-so. I mean, I'm not too impressed with it, but I'm going to open it up and I'm going to show you what the applicator looks like and everything so you can get an idea. Now it has a fuzzy tip on top. I hope you can see it. I'm going to try to hold it close. And what you do is that when you're ready to use it, you just give the tube a little bit of a squeeze. You don't have to squeeze too much. Just a tiny squeeze is enough. And then what happens is that a few drops or droplets of color will come out on top and you would just take it touch it to your skin and just use a very light dabbing motion I would suggest that you go in a circle and just apply it slowly and carefully because the concealer is just one of those things where if you don't go slow and easy with it it just doesn't seem to stay on it just comes off right away and this definitely fits into that category so just take it nice and slow and just go like in a circular motion and you know on whatever you need to cover up on your face whether it's acne or blemishes and all of that stuff and so for the application part it was very simple and easy and I did notice that it did not do a very good job with covering up blemishes that I have on my face I don't know why but I do have brown spots also and it didn't really tackle that either but for some reason, it did cover up a big pimple, a big red pimple that I have right here on this side of my face. I don't know if you can see it or if it's really visible on camera right now. And for some reason, it just like tackled the pimple with no issues whatsoever. I just did, you know, did the same thing like the circular dabbing motion and it just, you know, went away. <laughs> it's not even um, like noticeable right now at this point. And I'm happy with that because I know the pimples there, but all you can see is a bump. Now, um, so the, the blemishes and the brown spots were a big fail, but it performed very well with the acne coverage. So I would give it a thumbs up for that. Now, one thing that I will tell you, though, is when you are ready to use foundation, once you finish off with this concealer, you have to wait a few minutes. I think I waited about five or ten minutes before I applied this liquid foundation because if you put the concealer on and you go straight to the foundation the concealer will just come right off it does not stay on your skin at all 
and when I used it the first time, I didn't wait. I just put the concealer on, went straight to the foundation, and then I noticed that, you know, it was just off of my face. <laughs> there was no concealer there, and that got really frustrating, and I had to repeat the process, I think, maybe three or four times until I got it right, and I kind of figure it out, you know, how to use the two products together. So just be aware of that, you know, and you just... You have to be a little bit patient that if you're going to use this little guy here, put it on, give yourself a few minutes, you know, wait for the color to absorb and deposit, and then just move on to the foundation portion. So that's, um, yeah, so I guess that's all for that. Now for the foundation, okay, so this is the True Match from L'Oreal. And did I say that? If I said that, I'm sorry if I'm repeating it. This is... Um, a good foundation it's a medium coverage and they have a really good color range and you should definitely be able to find something that matches this one that I have matches my skin tone a hundred percent I mean there's no like you know there's no difference in color I don't have to blend it down to my neck or anything I just put it on here on my cheeks and it's perfectly fine you can't even tell that there's any kind of difference now this foundation is not like one of the shinier ones because I know all foundations are different. Before this one I was using the Boots Luminous foundation and that one had a little more moisture in it and it would give my face more of like a dewy appearance. And so but that's just a personal preference. I mean you can go whichever way you want but this one is definitely just a matte foundation. It's just going to give you like a clean flat appearance. It's not going to be you know, giving you like that shiny skin if that's what you're going for. Or if your skin is a little bit dry and you want a little more moisture, this one is not going to give you that either. But it does have SPF. And so if you have combination skin or, you know, like, well, like me, then it should work just fine. Now, um, the color is really nice in the way that it goes on. It's very smooth. I would suggest that when you use it for the first time, start with a beauty blender and see how that works for you and then move on from there. The first time I applied it, I used my fingers, which was okay, but I just realized that it deposited too much color onto my face and it did make some of my pores stand out and a little bit of like the fine lines just on my face, just in general, were more obvious. <laughs> I didn't like that. And, you know, from a distance, my face looks fine but just close up it just kind of bothered me because I didn't really like the look of that and you know especially these days when we have phones and everything and we're looking at ourselves you don't always want to be freaked out like you know looking at your face <laughs> like that um, so just go easy with it you know so start with the beauty blender and just see how that goes for you first and if you're happy with it then that's fine stick with that process and then you can use like a neutral powder on top of this foundation if you want just to kind of finish things off and I would say that it has really good staying power you know because it's raining today and I've been in and out of the house several times and I have had no issues with it whatsoever it is not running off of my face and this big fat pimple I have over here is not visible at all as far as the redness goes and I'm just very happy with the overall look and just how it's holding up. And this has been like several hours now from when I put it on earlier this morning. And it still looks good. So that's always a big thumbs up. Now, um, as far as the kind of finish it's going to give you on your face, it's really good too as, as far as that goes because it gives you like a nice, smooth, clean appearance. And I think right now on camera, it looks pretty decent because I don't really see like a lot of um, redness or anything like I normally experience because I do have a lot of rosacea. But it will do a good job of tackling those problems. It will kind of just tone everything down and give you like a nice, you know, finish and just, you know, you can do the rest of your makeup along with it and everything will look good. And uh, yeah, so it's a good foundation to start with. I'm going to give this one a really big thumbs up and, you know, go out and give it a try if you guys are interested, if you're looking for something that's kind of in between or if you're just a beginner and you're starting out, it's a good foundation to go with also. Um, so overall, I would say this one is so-so and this one is really good. 
and I'm happy with, uh, I guess, with both together. I mean, if you have the patience and the time, you can get these two to work really well. And I think that's it for this video. I'll put everything in the links down below so you guys can go and take a look and see if it's something you want to try out. So please let me know, you know, what your thoughts are. If you have any questions, ask them also. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Okay. Bye.